Imagine if humans had a mating season like animals do. Mm. How would the world look? For sure, far less, less populated. Far less, for, for sure. sure. For sure, yeah. I wonder how people's attitudes would change, though. Mm. Like, how much dumb shit do guys do just because they're horny? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like I worked as a bouncer yeah. for a year when I was younger and just the amount of stupid things I saw men do mm -hmm. just because they're trying to get with a girl and then yeah. there's the other guy, there's her boyfriend and there's the other guy who was trying to get with her and the whole thing. It's always, there's always something, but if you just didn't care, if you're like, it ain't February, I yeah. don't care. <laughs> yeah. like, Probably be a lot more productive. Oh, I think so. Oh my God. We'd be on Mars already yeah. for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The amount of time that guys spend oh trying to gosh. get a girl. Yeah, their and probably vice there. versa. Huh. Some yeah. degree, but yeah, that'd be funny if we had a mating season. Interesting. But then for like a month, everybody be leaving their jobs. Oh yeah. Just gone. <laughs> just out. I feel like it'd be uh be a national holiday. What's that movie? For a whole the month. the purge. It'd be like that. It'd be like a month of just <laughs> chaos. chaos. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think people well, people in relationships would just stay at home for the whole month. Mm. But Everybody else would be on Bumble like crazy. <laughs> just be swiping their ass off. Everybody's oh, getting geez. arthritis in their fingers yeah. just like some swiping. <laughs> what is The Purge? I don't think I've the ever purge, seen that. It's a movie. It's I think the premise of it, it lot, is but... like one day out of the year, there's no laws. <sighs> and so people just go I love that. ask her. And it's a very gory movie, wow. scary movie. Do you think that's a good idea? Should, no. we, should we try that? No, I don't think so. It would be just like LA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not, not on board. Not on board. Yeah, that would suck for old people. Yeah. And people with uh, lower incomes and... Children. Yeah. Lack of resources. Everybody except special forces guys. Mm. <laughs> That's that really is that does sound like LA during the riots. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, they and basically someone, legalized criminal activity it over was, there. Like okay. theft up to a thousand dollars, I think. So people were just walking out of stores. Whoa. Yeah, like how many stores have to shut down like in California they wouldn't be because prosecuted you, won't, you, or? you won't get arrested, period. Huh. They won't even get involved. You just walk out of Best Buy. That's crazy. With nine hundred ninety nine dollars worth of stuff and they don't call the cops. Wow. I think it's nine hundred or a thousand. Yeah. Remember, some, it's a big amount. That's wild. It made several stores go bankrupt. Uh huh. Because people are yeah. just walking out. They're losing thousands of dollars every day in merchandise. Crazy. It's nuts. And then just homeless people everywhere. And mm -hmm. you're at risk of getting jumped and the whole thing. I have a friend in Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. And he's telling me that when he goes to the gym, like people now are leaving their uh, car windows rolled down. Oh, wow. Just so people don't break the windows? Correct. Dang. Like people are breaking into cars so much to steal to look for money or I don't know, anything valuable. Mm -hmm. So they're just leaving their windows rolled down. And so that they're like, go ahead, look at my car. There's nothing yeah, there. Just don't, don't break my windows. Wow. Isn't that fucked? That's crazy. We, there's a catalytic converter issue here in San Antonio. I don't know if you've heard. Huh. I know three people and that's a lot considering, I don't know very many people in yeah. San Antonio <laughs> who have had their catalytic converter stolen. Really? Yeah. Damn. I don't know if they sell the whole thing. Somebody told me they, they open it up and there's some kind of, uh, uh, there's a part in there that's made out of, I don't know what, that's worth some money. Mm -hmm. And they extract that and sell it Dang. for a couple hundred bucks. And then you got to go buy a new catalytic converter for like 4,000. So yeah, I know three people that that's happened to. Damn. So it's, it sucks. And I wonder how much worse it's going to get because the more money gets devalued, the more people have to resort to illicit means mm, to get by. Yeah. yeah. And I look at like desperate me going people. back to El Paso. Sure. Desperate people do desperate things. I'm going back to El Paso. There's, I don't know how many <clears throat> people have, have thousands. Like I, last I checked, it was something like 10,000 that have come in from South America, various countries. Mm. And they're camped out, I think all over downtown. And you have to think like these people have no money. They can't work. A lot of them are there with families. Mm -hmm. They may not be bad people. Yeah. But when your children are starving, you're going to do, do what, what you, you got to do. do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's going to cause crime. Mm -hmm.